Right now we're heading over to the bank so I can deposit my latest paycheck. Oh, usually that door is locked. Strange. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. We're renting Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. Me and her saw it uh, during the summer at the Value Cinema. It was really, really good. And then just about a week ago, I work in the library, uh, the school library, second hour, and I noticed that we have the book. So I, I jumped right on it. Uh, I don't even think we were letting people check it out yet. But the book is just as good, if not better, because there's a lot of stuff that they couldn't really include in the film because it probably would have given it an R rating. Uh, so... I definitely recommend the book and the film if you haven't read or seen either. Julia is coming over around 5.30 and we're going to watch that and have some pizza, I think. And then tomorrow I have to be up and at work at 6.30 in the morning, which I'm not too excited about, but what can you do? But I know I'm gonna change that tune When I'm back on top, back on top in June I said that's life, that's life And as funny as it may seem Some people get their kicks Stomping on a dream But I don't let it, let it get me down It's nine o'clock now. It started to snow. We dropped Julia off about an hour ago. I think she enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed it a second time. I noticed things that I didn't notice last time. And now I want to talk about something that I've been meaning to talk about for a little while. But I haven't really gotten around to it. I've been thinking a lot recently about what I want to do once this project is over. Uh, I've mentioned in the past the possibility of doing another sort of daily vlogging thing similar to this but maybe not as intense. Maybe not a two-year-long project, or maybe not even daily. It could just be whenever something interesting happens. The thing is, after two years of making everyday life look interesting, I can't really decipher what actually is interesting anymore or what is just normal and I'm making it look good. I mean, hopefully I'm making it look good. What I'd really like to do, once this is over, is get back to what I was doing before I started it, which was little skit-type videos with Tristan, because I really want to get as much time in before he goes off to college to do those. Because we have this, this whole backlog of videos that we've considered doing but we've never done them. And I know once he goes off to college, it's going to be just me doing videos. Except for maybe weekends or, you know, holiday breaks or something. Maybe I could do short films. I'm really not sure. I just need something to fill up my time really that's the only reason I started this two years ago was I was bored that's the only reason I do anything 
That's the reason I became a vegetarian almost three years ago. People ask me why I became a vegetarian, and I know that they're expecting some great answer, like it was a health issue or I did it for animal rights, but the fact of the matter is I was just bored. I wanted something to do. Once this project is over, there's going to be this large hole. I'm going to have all this time on my hands, and I don't know what I want to do with all this time. I've been a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet, a pawn and a king. I've been up and down and over and